playing Madden. What does that even look like? Some might say this or this or this or this or even taking an IQ test because let's be honest, a lot of football fans can multiply their score by four and still be in single digits. Someone find this girl's hip. But did you ever expect something that looks like this? Yeah, this is a little different than pressing a button to throw an egg-shaped ball. We have a story mode in Madden 18 called the long shot. Don't worry, those aren't zippers. For sports games like this, it's pretty rare up to this point to have any sort of detailed narrative. The only things I could think of off the top of my head are Spike Lee's Emmy-nominated NBA 2K6 story, Fight Night Champion, and some other ones like Blitz the League and NBA 09 The Inside. The story for Longshot had a lot of effort put into it. The character models, actors, and the overall quality of things. This isn't something that's tied to a career mode or anything. This is a dedicated story, so let's jump right into it. The star of Longshot is Devin Wade the most main character name you could possibly come up with. He's a five-star QB prospect in high school who goes on to quit in the middle of his disappointing first college season. Like I said earlier, they're really trying to go for this cinematic feel. Maybe a little bit too much, like what the hell is up with the sun and all these lens flares? Damn, can't see. Oh my God. Frick. Cone Cruz rolls out wide, Texans down by five. We ain't the Texans, we the Cowboys. Oh, uh, not to go all cinema sins on y'all, but this flashback was 16 years ago. And if we assume that the game takes place in the year that it came out, which was 2017, then the Texans didn't even exist yet. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. So what you just saw is one of the four pillars of gameplay. I want to make the quotes extremely obvious because this gameplay is as follows. Quick time events, throwing mini games, regular Madden gameplay, and these Mass Effect style dialogue choices, which is about as interactive as messing with a DVD menu. Anyway, Devin and his friend Colt Cruz head to India Indianapolis, Indianapolis, fuck it, the Colt Stadium. Shut up. He's traveling there from Texas, which is a long ass drive, to participate in a regional combine. Colt was Devin's wide receiver both in high school and in college. He's the loyal loser comic relief and is someone who you'll like or find annoying. And I like him. Whew. Oh boy. Yo, Colt. Hey, should I get this on camera too? Hey! Come on, dude. You know I can't go when people are watching. <sighs> Seriously. When we get to our hotel room, we get a look into Devin's inner turmoil. Ooh, listen to me sounding like I know what I talk about. Hey. Look at me. Get up, Dad. Son, what were you thinking? Coach, I can make that throw. Did you see the coverage? Take a seat. So in case you didn't know, Devin's abrupt departure from college football is due to his father dying. The plot point itself isn't bad, but what is, is the fact that they will not let you forget this. It's practically a personality trait that Devin has no parents. Wade's father's dead, his mother's way dead. I wish your daddy was here to witness this. I'm just glad my dad's not here to see this crap. Right, I get it! Like this man puts Bruce Wayne to shame. But at the Combine, we do some quick time events, watch some cutscenes, and make some choices that don't mean anything. After all of that, we talk to this TV exec, Ross Fountain. This guy is like crack, but in human form. Stop! He offers you a chance on this reality TV show called Longshot. 
Ooh, name drop. A show where QBs get a chance to showcase their skills to potential NFL teams. Now, it's at this moment where you realize that playing Madden long shot is more like watching a movie rather than playing a video game. When I say that, I don't mean in a David Cage kind of way or a Hideo Kojima kind of way or a PlayStation Studios kind of way. I mean it in a quite literally kind of way. The game gives you the illusion of choice by giving you all these dialogue options, but they mean about as much as an automated phone line telling you how much their call means to them. To give you an example, this guy asked me to be on his little reality TV show and I say, Nope. So he asks again, and I say, No. So he asks again, and I say, No, 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 no. Come on, man, I'm running out of dated YouTube clips. The point is, is that this game asks you a question, and no matter what, you will join the show no matter what. The game gives you this scouting report thing, but it means nothing in the end. Fail a QT, just try again. So really, when you're choosing these options, nothing really happens outside of getting a little different dialogue. Just keep that in mind. But hey, we get a flashback to when Devin's just starting in high school. He gets subbed in when he's down multiple scores and you, yes, you, the player, have to lead a comeback. Whether this is good or not is up to your personal enjoyment of modern-ish Madden gameplay. It's a little easy, as players get wide open and break many tackles like the greased up deaf guy. I mean, this was the very first play I ran. You need a miracle, Cal. A miracle in maps. Make a nice movie. He's in! Touchdown, coach! <laughs> but honestly, it's refreshing to see some type of gameplay at this point. We eventually make it to the show, and the host is this fictional coach called Jack Ford. The TV exec meddles with the show and sets up this impromptu challenge where we have to hit targets. Devin's competition is this balding fat dude who looks like he just got off the couch and he's conveniently named Butterly. Like, come on, I think this dude sweats chicken grease. This minigame, you control the height and the distance to hit targets, and it's pretty tough to judge where the ball will go. But these type of minigames are fine. The next section, they do a little something different. They use the dialogue choices to try and have you remember plays that's called out to you. Gun bunch weak, double trail, X go, Y dig, Z shallow. All right, last play. What's the first section? Gun bunch weak. Excellent. What's next? Double trail. Yep. X go. And? Y dig. Lastly, Z shallow. Well done, Devin. Good work. Then we move on to testing our football IQ. What position is highlighted on the screen? Uh, safety. Good. What the hell kind of question is this? How does a former college level QB not know what the hell a safety is? Like he even answers it with a question mark. Safety. What? After that, we move on to some more quick time events. This leads to Wade having a sit down interview of sorts with Jack Ford. You ever call plays before? Devin, let me ask you something. Why are you here? Because football's my life. You trying to convince me or yourself? <laughs> Mike? This arrogant butthole Stizniak is the favorite to win the show because he has intangibles and knows how to call plays, even though Devin should know how to do that anyway, but whatever. But there's behind the scenes rumblings. It's not about who's the better player. It's about who will make a better show. Look, I'm telling you that Smizniak is your safer choice. What is safe about a guy whose last name will literally break your autocorrect? Besides, you're the one that said Wade had a huge lopsided. It's upside. Oh, come on, Jack. 
Wade's father's dead, his mother's way dead, and now Jack Ford is going to abandon him too? In case you guys didn't know, his parents are dead. So Wade eventually gets picked because he's the better story. Wow, what an asshole. But you are correct. So Coach works on Devin's football IQ. But once again, this shit makes zero sense to me. Now what formation is that offense in? It's single back. Of course it is. You had me worried for a minute. Let's move on. Now where's the safety in this formation? right there good you're gonna need to be able to identify the safety on every play once you step foot on the field well, i've seen enough for this morning so my problem with this is that devin was this highly touted high school qb i can fully understand if a high school qb or a college team would limit a qb's play calling if they feel like he can't understand it all that well but from the looks of it devin understands less than the average madden player safety no nfl team hell no college team is looking at a qb who doesn't even know what a safety is or what single back formation is the fact that jack ford even asks these questions is insane and if any nfl hopeful qb gets it wrong they would be shown the door immediately like imagine if gordon ramsay interviewed a potential chef he puts salt and pepper on the desk and asks you to identify which one is which it makes no sense. And I understand that this is for gameplay purposes, but it's still immersion breaking for me, especially since, like I said earlier, none of this matters or influences the ending in any sort of way. You wanted to see me? Yeah. Somehow you've managed to take all the excitement out of America's most exhilarating game. I've got five cameramen filming a guy reading diagrams. The formations. Yeah, you know what? I agree, actually. Long Shot doesn't seem like it would be a very interesting TV show. Like, please tell me, who on earth is going to be like, oh, not now, honey. I have to watch Devin Wade identify who's the safety on Long Shot. <laughs> ah, hoverboards. Something so modern, yet so dated at the same time. Training wheels off. Training wheels, we just got started. Devin's gonna be playing a full-blown game on live television. 32 scouts, 100 NFL teams will be there, a media blitz. It'll be the biggest live TV event since Neil Armstrong landed on the moon! When? I think it was 1969. No, I meant the full-blown game. We're still talking about that? It's in two weeks. Against who? That's the best part. <laughs> So yeah, coach has a problem. He has to get a QB who doesn't even know what a formation is to play a game in two weeks. But we have some backup. Yeah. Jack. Devin, how could you not tell me how crazy amazing this place is, man? <laughs> Wait, Coach, what are you doing here? Oh, she came down to Mathis last night and signed me up. Guess they didn't see the point of keeping the real star of this show off camera anymore. Oh, what about the regional combine? <laughs> oh. Man, what's good for you is good for me. So we get a montage of him watching film. Later on, we get a press conference where Devin is asked questions from ugly subhumans like this. Like, where does this guy come from? When your father died, you struggled badly playing Division One. What makes you think you can go to the pro level? I don't know. I guess I... Uh... You have to step in. He's fine. Hey, after you left UT, you went to hiding. Five-star blue-chip quarterback doesn't usually vanish. Where'd you disappear to? Earth to Devin. <laughs> Where'd you go? Sorry, what was that? Devin decides he wants to postpone the game, but Fountain over here isn't having it. The whole thing leads to Devin quitting. This leads to Colt and Devin having an argument, which leads to Colt kicking Devin out of his car to face his father's grave. His, his dad is dead, in case you didn't know. This is actually one of the better scenes in the game, but unfortunately it's playing copyrighted music. Devin is back to his rock shoveling job while he reminisces about the good old days, which means we actually get to play football. Guys, we're unstoppable. Gotta get it past the safety. Anybody to 
throw to? Are you kidding me? Holy cheese! With a little wrinkle, we play defense now, y'all. We get the game-winning pick in a QTE. Colt shows up along with others in their high school Bullfrogs jersey to drive Devin to his old team ceremony. I wish your daddy was here to witness this. Yeah, uh, his dad, in case you didn't know, is in fact, without a shadow of a doubt, 100% dead. After celebrating, this girl, Julia, who is Ross's assistant, and I never mentioned her, sorry, wants Devin to return and help get rid of Ross. We meet up with Jack Ford to make amends and meet with these TV execs. Put Julia in charge of Longshot and reassign Ross. Sir, thank you, I- uh, No, 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 no. Or we just fire Ross outright. The ratings have N been through- No, no, no. I've been sitting here listening to what everybody has to say. The only person I haven't heard from is Devin. Superstar, what's it gonna be? Please, 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 I'm begging you, please. I have a house, I have, I have uh, children, ex-wives. Ross did create this opportunity. Exactly, exactly. So what I'm hearing is that Julia is the problem. Julia's my biggest supporter. Right, no, no, exactly, right. So we should just dump Jack Ford. Jack's my coach. What a nice moment for you, Jack. I'm gonna let you have it. Julia, congratulations. You're the new executive producer of Longshot. Jack, you are Julia's first choice, and now you're mine, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm putting Ross in an advisory role to Longshot, answering to Julia, and if anybody has any issue with this decision, I kindly invite you to gather your things and watch your tuchus on the way out the door. Now with that shit stain gone, we go back to watching more too. Whoa, is that Dan Marino? I just bought a ring pop from the store and now I have more rings than he does. So Dan wants us to play seven on seven, non-contact football. Why the quotes? Non-contact my ass. This dude has a ruptured disc now. So we go on to win the game with a QTE where you curve the ball like the movie wanted. But I want to talk to you about the next episode. We initially planned to visit a military base, and I still think it's a great idea for the show. Devin was in the military after he quit, by the way, where we meet up with this old captain. Now, this guy has PTSD, not from military combat or any dumb wussy stuff like that. He got it from playing college football like a real man. I actually know a little something about regret. See, I was a kicker in college, and my junior year, we're playing in the Sugar Bowl. And I missed three field goals. It lost us the game. I couldn't face my teammates. <laughs> I couldn't even face the fans. So I quit. I just convinced myself I wasn't any good. A year later, I graduated and came here. <laughs> you can't undo your own mistakes. Maybe you can help others avoid making theirs. So we get another throwing mini game against Dan Marino. Then we have even more gameplay. Wow, I'm surprised this mode has such little gameplay. I haven't skipped any gameplay sections, by the way. This is it so far. We have another seven on seven game of non-contact football. Oh, I'm hurt! I like this military base setting. It's something you don't really see all that often in football games, especially Madden games. The twist to this game is that there are no first downs. You have four chances to score or you turn the ball over. It's a nice little change to help spice things up a bit. You're also playing defense, but it doesn't matter because Devin has stone hands that cost me a damn interception. So the game goes on and Devin sets up a goal post for the captain to get some redemption. Get your butt out here, uh, sir. Yeah, Sorry. That's, that's what I thought. <laughs> Ah, all right, you can hold. Sure. <sighs> I don't know 
why they cut away when he actually kicks the ball. We never see it go through the upright. So as far as I know, this dude just pulls the ball way off and misses. So we head to the big finale, but before we do so, Colt has something for us. Heading down the Midwest Highway, chasing down the end skyline. Brothers in arms just headed to the combine. As the day turns into night, clock's ticking down and there's one more play, one more pass and you're on your way. This is where it gets good. <clears throat> Hey, he's a long shot, it's a long shot, who <clears throat> Gonna be ready for some tonight, gotta be something for the big bright lights. He's a long shot, he's a long shot, who Yeah, some some gonna win the game, some Hall of Fame, I don't know, man. It's, it's, <laughs> that's all I got. Listen, I don't care what you do or who you're into, as long as you're happy. But if I personally conjure up an acoustic song made for specifically one person in mind, then I definitely have some intentions with that person. The intention, of course, being a romantic evening at Applebee's getting the two for 20 deal, obviously. Deal. Larry, it's good to see you again. But the question everybody wants to know is how does it feel to be out there again today? Well, Ocho Cinco, I think the real question everyone wants to know is how the hell is the mic picking up your audio when it's so far apart from your mouth, you would think it was social distancing. So for those of you who actually like gameplay in your video game, this is the best part without a doubt. Each challenge has their own set of rules that change up the gameplay a bit. First challenge is pretty easy, just score a touchdown. Second challenge, we have to drive the length of the field in two minutes. They also mix in QTEs here from earlier. Devin Wade in the shotgun. He's gonna fire one deep left sideline. Hey Colts, I think you're thinking about grabbing the wrong type of balls, my friend. The third challenge, we have to get into field goal range while backed up into our own end zone simple enough but the fourth challenge has the biggest difference yet this one's pretty simple but there's something i want you to try on this challenge what okay, i want you to prove to these scouts that you can play well without cold i want you to prove that you can do this on your own how are you, are you going to take them out no nope. i just want you to complete the challenge without throwing a pass to but why what, what is that even going to prove Devin, you have relied on Colt your entire life, and it's time for you to show them that you can play well without him. Trust me, this is going to answer a lot of questions that these scouts have about you. Okay, and I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll get the other guys more involved. No problem. Okay, the catch is they want me to prove I can drive the ball down the field without Colt. What? Well, that's Bush League, man. Who made that decision? Look, man, hey, stop worrying about it. Let's just drive the ball down the field score, all right? All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah, your boy did not pass this one. The next challenge sees us go through the exact same scenario Devin went through in college. Third and 15 in the rain. Oh, God, great now it's raining. Yeah, let me guess. Yeah, third and 15. Yeah, come on. What, did they fly in Oregon Ducks uniforms for this challenge too? Come on. I hope not. D. Just calm down, okay? You spent the last six months getting over that night, and I know you have. Now you just have to show millions of people at home that you have to. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know how the hell they got to recreate the rain part. Like, that's one hell of a coincidence, I must say. One play here. Can Devin Wade finally put the demons to rest that have haunted him for the last four years? Let's just get out of the half. Keep it simple. If it's not there, don't force it. Go. Hey, yo, D, we need this. I can beat my guy deep. Cold is not the play, man. I know, but if we don't show something here, we might be sitting. Come on, you wanted to dedicate this game to your dad. Let's do it for him. Let's go. I'll be open. can't defend a perfect pass. You know, well, there's no such thing as always a safe bet. Cruz 
with a catch. What a catch and what a throw by Wade. Uh, yes! <laughs> hey, hey, don't get too excited. I expected you to know that that check down was a smart decision. Look, I know it's hard to resist throwing the Colt for the big play, but what we really needed there was a completion to keep the clock running. Now, you enjoy the moment, but remember, you can make a better decision there. Now, get back out there. Keep the strive going. Okay, Coach, uh, what are we running? Whatever you want, you earned it. Oh, and when he says whatever you want, he really means choose between three random plays. And we do it. We win long shot. What do we win? Meaning that I've been talking with the GMs and the coaches across the league, and right now you're... You're looking at a third or fourth string quarterback. Okay. The consensus of the coaches is that as a backup, you may not be worth the distraction the show brings. So all of this was pointless. Yeah, I'd say so. A couple of weeks ago, you couldn't even name what a safety was, and now you expect it to be anything other than a practice squad guy? So the draft comes, and time passes, and passes, and passes, and we get a phone call. We're on the air all day, live from Philadelphia and all points Told you. around the country <laughs> and the globe. Amazing. The Lotus Devin Wade. They still need an edge rusher, right? That's one of my things on my part. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, one moment. That's for you. The Jacksonville Jaguars are on the clock, and the Vikings already have had a draft. Um, they traded up a couple of times. Uh, hello, uh, Colton Cruz speaking. But you almost feel like they have to go offense. Uh, um, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Who was it? The pick is in. I'm so sorry. Never do this. May, may I have this one? Because there's a major connection here. Thank you. All right. Folks, this is great. With the 25th pick in the sixth round of the NFL draft, the New England Patriots select the little guy that could, the Cruz Missile, Colt Cruz, wide receiver, University of Texas. Woohoo! You did it, man! 180 pounds, 5'8 180. Hey, Devin, man, I, I don't know how this happened. I'm so sorry. He's quick like a Julian Edelman. I believe in this kid. You know, it's an intriguing conversation. Man, don't, don't apologize, man. You kidding me? It's great. Dude, congrats. Wow, that's cool, but where does that leave Devin? Hey, Dev. Yeah. It's for you. Oh, who is it? I did it. In. Just take it. Hello? Devin, hey, it's Dan. I asked my agent to make some calls for you. I've got some good news, my man. Two teams want to sign you. Not a lot of money, but you're going to get a shot there. The first team is the Jets. And I know that's your favorite team, but I think you're going to want to hear the second. Who is it? It's the Patriots, which is great. Your boy Colt's going there. Tell me what you're thinking, my man. We don't have a lot of time. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, um... With the first option, I think you've got an easier shot in the number three job. Maybe number two. With the second, it's a dogfight. The Colts there, so it'll be a coin flip. Let me know what you want to do. I'm gonna go with the Jets. That's amazing. My boy's going to the NFL. You're going to the NFL. So we get signed as an undrafted free agent, and that's the end of the story. So let's talk about long shot. So you're probably watching this and thinking, wow, all of those choices really made for a unique ending, right? Everything that you see and do doesn't matter. The game is linear with barely any deviantation. There are only two endings in the game, and they are influenced by this interview and the Long Shot Legends game. If you complete the Legends game flawlessly while making the right choices regarding not throwing to Colt when they tell you to, then Devin gets drafted and Colt goes undrafted. If you played like I did and ignore all that shit, you get the ending you just saw. The team that drafts you and Colt all comes down to this interview where you are asked to pick your favorite team. Devin will be drafted by this team and Colt will be drafted by our favorite team's rival, which would be the scum sucking Patriots in this case. That's it. All of this stuff about dialogue choices and the scouts are watching and these tests and these scouting grades all mean jack shit in the end of it. Long shot is a good watch though. The game looks fine for the most part. The story is interesting. I like the characters. It's overall an enjoyable three hour sports movie pretty much. But that's the thing. 
we are playing a video game and there's hardly any game. Sorry, I don't view choosing dialogue and pressing buttons when they tell me to as great gameplay. I hardly even view it as gameplay. And you have to suspend your disbelief here with Devin in general. I already talked about this, but there's no way a QB who doesn't know basic formations and positions two weeks before the draft gets drafted at all. At least it's better than Spike Lee's story in 2K16. But that's a long shot. The community seems to like this mode whenever I find discussion on it, and apparently 80% of the players finished it. There was a sequel to Longshot that I won't be covering in this video, and I'm not just saying that because FedEx lost my package for Madden 19. We will one day get to it, and those little face of the franchise things too. But for now, uh, I'll end the video like this.